here today and today I have another video for you all. I have a haul for you guys. It's going to be a Nasty Gal haul. I've never shopped at Nasty Gal before so these are going to be completely brand new to me. Never bought from them before. I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. I know a few people have done this on their channels and stuff. I want to show you guys each individual item on as I go through and talk about them just because I feel like it would spice up the haul a little bit more. I know you guys probably don't want to see me sitting down in the same position and talking about it for probably like a half hour or whatever. Before we get onto this video, I want to do this little segment where I like to appreciate comments that people send through to me. This was my favorite comment from my last week's video. Thank you so much for sending it through. I really appreciate you taking the time out to write that to me. And this is my favorite DM of the week. I also really appreciate the DMs that you guys sent through and just I'm so thankful that you like even take some time out of your day to write something nice to me, like little me. If you want to be featured in next week's video, um, comment down below on this video. Something like nice or meaningful that you think I would like to read. Or if you want to, just DM me in the next week and I will choose my favorite to feature in the next video. But without further ado, let's just get on into the haul. This is the first item I'm going to show you and I kind of have it on right now. So, okay, so this is the first item of clothing that we have. It is this sweater top. This skirt is not from Nasty Gal. I think I got it from Billabong, which is this Australian brand. I love it so much. It's probably one of my top favorites out of this haul. And trust me guys when I say this, I got a huge haul of clothes. I spent so much more than I usually should. Is anybody else like doing a lot of ISO shopping right now? Because same. And it's not good for me. It is this creamy beige chunky knit cardigan. It's actually okay I'm gonna take it out just so you guys can fully see what it looks like But I thought this would look really nice with a pair of high-waisted jeans Just kind of like tuck it at the front or even to wear as like a nice cardigan on top of an outfit I still think that would look really cute and I really fully feel like the granny style is coming back in so That's this one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you guys the next item of clothing so I have this top. It is so cute. I don't feel like it would be very practical with these like fat wing sleeves. I remember buying something like this um, from the Sabo skirt a while ago just because I thought it was fashion, it was cute. And then I wore it to work and it was honestly just like the worst day of my life. I couldn't tie it because the sleeves were like this on me and I pretty much had to like work all day like this. I definitely think this is such a nice staple piece to have in my wardrobe. It would definitely spice up a normal sweater and jeans kind of outfit. And the turtleneck is like perfect. I don't know about you guys, but I get so many turtlenecks that are so annoying. Like you'll have to like roll it down and it ends up looking really weird or like a really long kind of turtleneck and it looks really Steve Jobsy. But this is kind of nice. It kind of like ruches if you can kind of see and I love these kind of turtlenecks like they are my favorite they're the most flattering I think to my neckline and yeah I definitely want a more beige and camel pieces that are really neutral as you can kind of see in this haul and just to put this out there I'm usually a big thrift shopper like I love thrift shopping and buying secondhand clothes and really trying to recycle my clothes but at the same time as you guys probably know thrift shops are currently closed at the moment because of the whole coronavirus um, pandemic and obviously want to want to be like rummaging around in like dirty bins and stuff my option right now is to kind of just buy full price items which is fine with me because I know for me I don't go through my clothes like really quickly I don't like buy new stuff and throw them out and buy new stuff I try to buy things and be really conscious with what I buy because I try to keep them in my wardrobe for years and years so I'm gonna show you guys the next item so here we go okay so this is the next item that we have still the same top but I actually got this skirt it is a leopard print skirt and it's a midi silk skirt a little bit late to the leopard print trend but you know I decided to get it just because I want to try it out and I want to play around with it I feel like it looks really good with this top that's why I wanted to wear it this skirt is um, a midi skirt I don't really have that many midi skirts just because I never thought I could like pull them off with my height and everything but playing around with this and a couple of different items it actually works really well with my wardrobe just because I have a lot of neutrals I wear a lot of white when I go to events and stuff not that we can go to events at the moment but whenever I go to events like birthdays or weddings and stuff like that I try not to buy a new dress every single time because that just like wastes a lot of money and at the same time I know I still have lots of things in my wardrobe that I can play around with. This is one of those items I think. I feel like this pair it off with like a really nice neutral 
white crop top, some heels, and really fancy earrings. And I definitely think that you could wear something like this to a wedding. I wanted to pick out something that I could definitely wear on an everyday basis, but also something that I could kind of interchange into a more formal event kind of setting. So moving on to the next item of clothing that I purchased. Okay, so we have a, another item. This is a definitely a lot more fancier. I have this black silk dress. It goes really close to my ankles, but quite not. It is like, I don't know how to show you guys, like that far away from my ankles. When I purchased this, honestly, I was just thinking, how cute would this look as like a black midi skirt when I put a sweater on top of it? And I thought that would be such a look, that would be so cute. And I definitely need like a black staple midi skirt kind of thing. But then I didn't stop to think that I already had like a silk dress. It's probably a better quality, which is my bras and things dress, which you guys have probably seen in heaps of my videos because I wear it time and time again. But in saying that, I realized like, I'm probably just trying to justify myself. But when I tried this on, it is so much more different from the bras and things dress. Firstly, this is definitely more evening wear. This is like cow neck kind of cut at the back. It's just plain. Definitely looks more formal, especially if I steam it. I definitely need steamer with this. This item of clothing is still really cute. I really like it. It fits me really well. It does a lot for like my curves. Not that there's like anything really there, but um, yeah, <laughs> this is pretty much it. This is um pretty much the dress. I'm going to show you guys the next item of clothing in three, two, one. Okay, so this is the next item that I hold pretty much. So this is actually a two-piece set, is a tube top and the black pants. The reason why I got this, this was because I was looking for some really, really nice work pants and everywhere that I looked was like, it was good. Like at the same time, this caught my eye because it was a set and I could also get a free like, not free, but it, like this little tube top thing came with it and I could wear it interchangeably like with these pants to work and then also like this to an event later on. And I just fell in love with this. I love the material. It is so stretchy and it is so nice, which is so perfect for me because when I do a lot of online shopping, because I'm really petite and small and have a small frame, it is so hard sometimes because I will get a size six or get something in my size, but then it ends up being too big for me just because of the measurement and there's different kinds, I guess, of like size sixes around the world. This is perfect. I love that it is stretchy. I love the material because I'm able to adjust it to my body and at the same time, it molds really well to my body. I definitely could see myself wearing it with like these black pair of heels and 100% would rock this with a red lip somewhere. I think that'd be so cute. Um, eventually one day when we can go out again, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Next item of clothing that I bought. <sighs> okay, this is one of the last few items I have to show you guys. It is obviously this like green emerald turtleneck. It is a bodysuit, so I kind of like, you know, tucked it in at the bottom. Um, I love this. The material is so nice and so stretchy. The color is everything. It is so beautiful. I saw this online and I actually thought it was going to be so much more of a darker green, like a really, really deep, dark forest kind of green, but I love this. This is so nice. Like this outfit together with the pants, making me look really cool, really professional. Um, wait one second. One Hello, this is Ivy from HR. It feels so corporate and I love this all together. I definitely will wear this to work once we are back in the office and everything. I'm gonna show you guys the next item. Okay, so I'm sorry if the angle has changed for you guys. My camera was running out of battery so I had to charge it at the same time of, what's it called? Filming. So this is another item that I got. I have this leather jacket. I have always, always, always wanted a leather jacket for myself, but I, I just never like went to invest in one. I'm not too sure why. Like I just have always wanted it as a staple in my wardrobe, but just never thought it was worth investing in. Or I don't know, I just don't know why I didn't get one, but I love this so much. Something I never realized about leather jackets was is how much they like really grunge up your outfit. Like grunge is like not really my style at all, but I definitely feel like this would look really nice with classic pieces. Like say, for example, I went to an event somewhere and then like I was wearing like a nice dress or outfit. This would be really nice in the winter times to kind of dress it up still, but also like keep warm. I definitely think like a leather jacket is so the move. It is so the option that um, I would 100% choose over everything whenever I get to go out and want to look a bit more stylish. It fits me 
perfectly. It's obviously, of course, fake leather. I would not buy real leather clothes. I'm gonna show you guys the final last clothing item. Okay, so the final and last clothing item that I have are these jeans. Um, yeah, I don't like them. I'm just gonna be completely blunt. Um, I don't like them. This is why I left them to last because it's my least favorite item out of this whole entire haul. It just like doesn't fit me. Like I said to you guys before, this is a size six, but it doesn't fit me and I don't understand because I'm a size six. And I guess measurements worldwide are very different. But in saying that, I don't even like the style. I thought I would really like it. It's basically like this black denim culotte kind of style with these rip frayed and I thought that was gonna be really cool, which is why I bought it in the first place, like hello. But when I put it on me, it's too like square out of my hips and it just does not suit me. It's too big and too puffy and it makes me look small, like a small child. So I'm just not a fan of this. I'm not even gonna bother trying to sew it or fix it up because I genuinely think I wanna return this and I'm so devastated because I've been trying to find the perfect pair of jeans for me for ages. I had the perfect pair of jeans. She was my absolute go-to, my absolute favorite. It was the Journey Jeans by Topshop and I wore that from like 2015 to 2018. And then sadly I gained a bit of weight and outgrew them. So, <laughs> I don't want to invest in those jeans again just because it's not really my style anymore. I definitely need something a bit more um, matured up. If you watched some of my videos in the past from like 2015 onwards, you will probably have seen them because I literally wore them like every single day. So I think I want to return these and order a new pair of jeans. So that's that. I probably won't show you guys a close up because she didn't deserve a close up. And the last item I'm going to show you guys is this. So I got a pair of earrings and I wasn't gonna get any accessories or anything like that in this haul, but I have been following Brandon Wolfell lately and I know he's been around on Instagram for years. Like I've followed him from a distance, like I love his stuff, but I never like went and actively followed him. Anyways, I watched a bunch of his TikToks and his YouTube videos and stuff and I'm obsessed with him now. But he does this thing where like he shows how he kind of makes like rainbows in his photos and so I actually wanted to get like a really cool like glass prism kind of thing so that I could hang it from the window and then when the sunlight comes through during sunset you can see rainbows throughout the room and I could take photos in it and I thought that would be really really cool. Anyways, I saw this on Nasty Girl and I thought it was going to be really similar. I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's nine bucks and it's a pair of earrings. Like I could definitely like use that, take my photos with it, and then wear them as earrings because they're still pretty cute. Like I really like them. Anyways, I got them and I tried them on as earrings. They're way too heavy for my ears. I could probably wear them only for like 10 minutes maximum. It just was not comfortable. I could not see myself wearing this for a whole day. Then I tried hanging it by my window next to my plant. I'll show you guys like a clip of it. It just, it did not capture any sunlight. <laughs> it was stupid of me because like you obviously need like a proper glass prism to like have light go into it then refract lots and lots of light but this is plastic and I just wasn't thinking like I really wasn't thinking I don't I don't know what why this was kind of a flop so this is the very end of the haul that is all that I have for you guys today I changed back into the denim skirt because those jeans were looking really ridiculous on me and I was just over it thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to me if you haven't already this is a new video every Thursday at 4 15 p.m. and follow me on Instagram it's at Ivy underscore Nicole with two e's I hope you're all having a wonderful week and keeping safe goodbye que chose il est entré dans mon cœur une balle de bonheur